Emily Nur keeps moving forward. It was quite a toll. Her body was pretty ravaged after that. I just remember being devastated about losing my hair. Emily was diagnosed with ovarian cancer twice and beat it twice. The first time, she was only six years old. We were told that she had a 94% mortality rate at the time. After six rounds of chemotherapy, she was cancer-free. But five years later, at 13, she had a relapse. It was more chemo and surgery, but this time she had some extra support. <laughs> Alabama linebacker Jamie Mosley. Mosley met the family in 2016 during a stadium tour. It was something that just told me, like, I don't know, I felt something special when I was just around them all day, so um, it definitely turned into something big, I'll tell you that much. The tour guide had to leave early, so Jamie Mosley became the tour leader. He took Emily and the family off the standard tour to places like this, the tunnel leading from the locker room to the field. And I didn't have anything to do, so I was just like, well, of course, like I, I don't mind uh, taking them around. You guys don't have to leave right now. I don't have anything to do, so um, I showed them around the whole entire complex. Um, I took them up to Coach Saban's office, um, took them through the locker room, took them through the weight room. He started out as just a tour guide and now he comes over and he goes to the pool with us and he eats dinner with us and before our games he writes Team Emily on his sweatbands and you can sometimes see it on the camera. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All I do is you look down at the wristband, you know, see Emily's name and it just gives me a steady reminder that if she can push through something, I can push through it too. Two years later, Emily is once again cancer free. In Hoover, Kyle Berger, WVTM 13.